We got UCF versus Florida. This game has massive implications. There isn't a game that has bigger stakes than the one that we're about to see play this week in the Swamp. UCF is entering this game, coming off a loss to Coach Prime in the Colorado Buffs. Meanwhile, Florida is coming off a bye. They got their first win against a Power 4 opponent in Mississippi State, but Billy Napier, we already know the story by now. The dude has the hottest seat in college football, and most of us thought that this dude was going to get his walk-in papers after Florida lost to Texas a and Well, he still is the head coach of the Florida Gators. He got a big win against Mississippi State. Okay, you won that game. I'm not going to discredit you because that game you could have easily lost as well if things would have went left for you. You feel me? So for Billy Napier now, this UCF game is must win. This is probably the biggest game of the season for Florida right now. And I know that UCF is not Texas or any of the better teams that Florida has to play on the schedule. But what makes this game must win for the Gators is that you already got embarrassed at home in week one when the Miami Hurricanes and Cam Ward ran into the swamp, took over the swamp, and left out with a blowout win. You can't afford to go 0-2 against two of the biggest programs in the state of Florida. That would be devastating for recruiting if Florida loses to UCF. Because that shows recruits that your program is not heading in the right direction. If anything, UCF is the program that now was on the up and up. And Gus Marzon has done a really good job of helping elevate UCF football to that next level. They no longer, to me, are a team that you just look at and you say, yeah, they're a G5 school. No, this is a Power 4 program now. They're in the Big 12, and they've been acting like they're a Power 4 program. They've been elevating their facilities. Their, their recruiting has improved. They had a top 25 recruiting class that last year. Last year was the highest rated recruiting class that UCF has ever had. So in terms of... UCF's facilities compared to Florida's facilities like they're catching up and if Florida loses this game you will see a big power shift in the state of Florida when it comes to the hierarchy of the big power four programs in the Sunshine State right now Miami's number one number two number three number four those spots are up for grabs but if UCF wins this game, they're guaranteed to finish as the second best team in the state of Florida this year. And Florida, they still got to play Florida State this year. And if you're the Florida Gators front office, you're their athletic director, if you lose this game, you can't risk allowing Billy Napier to coach against Florida State. Because if he coaches in that game and you lose to Florida State, you will be 0-3 against three of the biggest programs in this state. You would lose the Florida gauntlet. You would lose a lot of respect that your football program has in the eyes of the media, the public, and recruits because why would anybody want to play for Florida when you went 0-3 in the Florida gauntlet against three of the biggest programs in this state? You know, Billy Napier has to win this game. There, there is no way that Florida can lose this game and Billy Napier not get fired as soon as the final whistle gets blown. This is a game that has serious implications, not just for Billy Napier's future, but for the prestige, the respect, and the reputation that comes with putting on that Florida Gators uniform. When somebody asks you, about the Florida Gators, the first thing that probably comes in the front of your head <clears throat> is Tim Tebow, Urban Meyer, and national championships. But as of late, this program has been on a decline. And for UCF, they don't have as much pressure to win this game as what you do. UCF can lose this game and their reputation be perfectly fine because they're not expected to really win this game. They're a three-point favorite. But most people expect for Florida to be able to handle themselves because although UCF is starting to rank up, they're starting to level up their football program, the Gators still have a better roster, and they're playing at home. And if UCF 
can win this game in a tough environment that is the Swamp, you can use that as a building block if you're Gus Malzahn to sell recruits to come play for your program. And this is one of those games that possibly could have major implications on Florida's current recruiting class. UCF isn't too far away from Gainesville, Florida. It's probably like a two, three-hour drive. So those recruits that are committed to Florida, if UCF wins this game, Gus Marzahn can phone those boys up and say, hey, man, like, well, why are you wasting your time staying committed to that trash that is UF, man? We just beat those boys. They own two in the swamp. They allowed two teams in the state to come into their trap and take over your trap. Do you really want to play for that? Or do you want to come on and play for UCF, a program that obviously may have ranked up and leveled up from where Florida is right now? Like, this is a gigantic game for Gus Marzahn if he can seize this opportunity. It doesn't matter how down Florida football is and how bad this team may be. This is a signature win for Gus in that football program because this win shows that if you're able to be a low-level SEC school, it shows that the power dynamic now has shifted. You no longer are afterthought. People got to respect you now. Most people still put that group of five label on you. They don't know just how good you are at this level. And you got to show them if you can take care of one of the worst teams in the SEC, it will legitimize you as a team that actually has a bright future when it comes to where this football program could be headed under Gus Malzahn within the next two, three years. You know, UCF doesn't have anything to lose, but they got a lot to gain with this win. Meanwhile, for Florida, you don't gain much if you win this game. If you win this game, you were expected to because you're playing at home and you got a better roster than what UCF has. You've out-recruited them, and you're pretty... You, you got a pretty good roster. But what has held Florida back is the lack of good coaching that these players have received from Billy Napier and that staff. Guys are not being developed. Guys are not knowing their assignments. They're blowing coverages. Although Florida has the talent advantage, UCF has the coaching advantage in this game. I trust the Gus Bus more than I trust Sunbelt Billy. One thing about Gus Marzahn is that at least you know he can get you to a bowl game. Can't say the same for Billy Napier. And if Florida finds a way to win this game, I believe it buys Billy Napier a little bit of time. He may have maybe two, three more losses left before Florida pulls the plug. But you got to win this game because if you can't beat the biggest teams that are in your state, it's detrimental to not just this program's reputation, but your reputation as a head coach that you allow Florida to sink to this level. When Billy Napier was first hired by Florida, he was thought to be a program builder. Well, all this program has done under Sunbelt Billy is continue to further and further decline under him. Florida football is damn near about to become what Nebraska football has been over this last decade irrelevant you got to reminisce on the t-ball days you got to reminisce on the steve spurrier days you know like this game has large and major implications in terms of if florida is able to win or lose this when it comes to billy napier's job security and when it comes to the respect and the reputation that is the Florida Gators football program. You can say that the Florida brand is already dying out, but a loss to UCF at home would be the nail in the coffin for Florida football. You can't go 0-2 at home in the swamp, one of the best environments in college football, by the way, to allow two teams in this state to beat you in your home turf, on your home field, in front of your home fans. You can't tell me that, would, that wouldn't that would be devastating for Florida football if they are to lose this game. There are major implications with this game that not a lot of people in the media are talking about. Like, this game deserves that 7.30 p.m. primetime spot 
on ABC. Bump Tennessee and Arkansas. This is the game that everybody needs to be tuned into because there are major implications with this game. Major.